From the tops of the mountains to the depths of the ocean, Earth is home to some alarmingly frightening critters. Some of them can give you the creeps, while others can put you in a coffin. From land to sea, and even deep within our own bodies, take a look at some of the terrifying animals you wouldn't want to encounter. Amazing. Number 10. Stoplight Loose Jaw the stoplight loose jaw is a rather uncanny name to match its creepy appearance. Stoplight refers to the organs it's evolved, located under its eyes that can emit red light and eyes that can perceive red light, a rarity for fish deep in the ocean. It uses these rare abilities to help see prey by lighting them up in red, while remaining invisible to the majority of predators. Loose jaw refers to its odd double-hinged jaws, which are coated with sharp, needle-like teeth. The good news is that it is highly unlikely that you will ever encounter one of these formidable finned creatures. They typically dwell between 1,005 500 to 13,000 feet below the surface of the ocean, so contact with humans is extremely limited. They're also quite small, measuring at less than a foot in length. It's believed they use those massive, fearsome teeth to feed on smaller fish and crustaceans, not humans. Still, there's definitely something unnerving about that mouth. Number 9. Leatherback Turtle these enormous migratory turtles may not seem threatening on first glance. After all, this species is in danger due to fishing practices and egg collection, but it's another story when they open their mouths. These six-foot-long, thousand-pound turtles actually have a relatively delicate jaw compared to other turtle species, but that doesn't lessen the fact that their mouth resembles a pit of death. Their jaws are perfectly adapted to their diet of soft, slimy jellyfish, and the horrifying spines, known as papillae, help to grip their slippery prey. Still, I wouldn't want to get my hand chomped by that terrifying row of spikes. So for their sake and your own peace of mind, just leave these big softies to their own business and wander on down the shore. Number 8. Cookie Cutter Shark what could possibly be terrifying about cookies? Well, take a look at this creepy cigar-shaped critter. The cookie-cutter shark is definitely not something you'd want to antagonize, despite only reaching around 22 inches in length. Compared to the size of its body, these sharks have the largest proportional teeth of any shark, which they use to take sizable chunks out of larger marine creatures, like whales, larger sharks, and squids. The cookie-cutter shark has sucking lips which attach to these unsuspecting creatures, and then digs in with those disproportionate triangular teeth, which work like a can opener to slice off a tasty chunk. You can tell where these sharks have been by the cookie-shaped bite marks they leave behind. While they typically stay more than 1,000 meters below the surface during the day, they come closer to the surface at night, all over the world's warm tropical oceans. Night swimmers beware. Number 7. The Lamprey at first glance, this two-foot-long creature seems to be nothing more than a plain old eel. But look closer. Lamprey have no jaws, just a seemingly endless tube of sinister, sharp teeth and a rasp-like tongue. They use this sucking mechanism to latch onto anything, then gnash at the flesh and suck the victim's blood. Their swirling spirals of teeth are frighteningly mesmerizing. Outside of feeding, lamprey also use their high-powered suction capabilities to hitch a ride on rocks for effortless migration across riverbeds. While not typically lethal to humans, swarms of lamprey have been known to take down basking sharks, so maybe it's best just to avoid them altogether. Number 6. Worrying Worms the next two terrifying creatures aren't very… safe for work. If you're squeamish, avert your eyes before you meet the worms coming up. The giant kidney worm and the ribbon worm are spine-chilling, slithery little fellows who score high on the ick factor. You've been warned. The giant kidney worm is found in the kidneys of mammals, but mostly dogs and minks, so go ahead and breathe a sigh of relief. These slimy creepers can grow up to three feet long, which is a bit longer than the available space in a typical dog or mink kidney. This, in turn, can cause a great deal of problems for the host animal as the worm grows and spawns from the comfort of the host's internal organs. The eggs of the giant kidney worm are passed into the host's urine, then ingested by other critters. From there, the larvae grow up and feast on liver and kidney tissue. Can you imagine three feet of blood-sucking, organ-feasting parasites just living in your abdomen? Ugh. Then there's the ribbon worm. The good news is this worm doesn't live inside anybody's body. The bad news is it has a terrifying proboscis, which seemingly vomits out to capture its prey. A proboscis, by the way, is the technical term for a long and dexterous appendage, usually involved in locating and processing food. The ribbon worm's proboscis wraps around its prey like a net and secretes venom, killing its prey before consumption. Mercifully, the venom of the ribbon worms is rarely toxic to humans. These discomforting critters are also covered in a slimy mucus, and if you happen to try to defend yourself with a machete, don't bother. They can reabsorb severed pieces. In unkillable worm? Hard pass. For the squeamish members of the audience, you can open your eyes now. Number 5. 
Goliath Tigerfish If you should find yourself in a river in Africa, there are many reasons to exercise extreme caution. One particular aquatic adversary provides fright as well as bite. Picture, if you will, the deadly piranha. Then give it some protein shakes, a gym membership, and 32 extra-large razor-sharp teeth, and you've just crafted yourself a Goliath Tigerfish. Sizing up to about 5 feet long and 100 pounds, you're basically dealing with a human-sized aquatic assassin. The fearsome teeth interlock within a massive, incredibly strong jaw, which gives it the ability to snap down on its prey and rip them apart. The good news is that they don't typically attack humans, but seeing as they've been known to take lumps out of crocodiles, don't try your luck. Number 4 flying nightmares. This next pair of stingers are very different in personality, but each can be over two inches long. Found in the southwest United States, the tarantula hawk wasp is purely terrifying. Only the females of this incredibly beautiful, yet slightly unnerving insect species are equipped with long stingers. Strangely, their stingers are used as part of a complex, horrifying reproductive process. The female, as per its name, will attack a tarantula, paralyze it with venom, then lay her egg in the tarantula. The egg hatches, and the larvae eats its way out of the tarantula over the next 30 days. For humans, the tarantula hawk is considered to have the second most painful sting in the world, and typically results in 5 to 10 minutes of localized paralysis. It's recommended that victims, most of whom accidentally encounter the prospective mothers in their hunt for an adequate babysitter, remain still until the pain subsides, as flailing and discoordination from the blinding pain of the sting typically leads to more damage than the sting itself. That said, the tarantula hawk is unlikely to kill you. On the other hand, Asian giant hornets can, in fact, kill you. In 20 2013, a swarm killed 42 people in southwestern China. But these overgrown hornets are located all over Asia, especially in Japan. The Asian giant hornet is attracted to sweat, certain colors, and sweet smells, and it's easily agitated by heavy or rapid footfalls. The Asian giant hornet doesn't lose its quarter-inch long stinger or die when it stings, which means it can attack as much as it likes. The venom it produces works quickly to destroy red blood cells, which in turn can result in kidney failure or even death. Experts recommend those who have been stung seek immediate medical attention as the venom can be potent enough to dissolve human tissue on contact. Number 3 the funnel web spider. The most important fact about the funnel web spider is that it is very, 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 very aggressive. Once it's chosen a victim, it will bite repeatedly, and trust me, that is not something you'd want. Specimens can reach about 4 inches in diameter, and females of the species can live up to 20 years, while males typically live for 4. This nocturnal spider is not only angry, its venom is very toxic, but only to certain animals. Unfortunately for us, primates are on the list. The venom is so potent, it can shut down the central nervous system and cause death in 15 minutes. Bites from these spiders' is incredibly sharp, piercing fangs require immediate attention, including a hearty dose of antivenom, which was developed in 1981 after a series of funnel web spider-related deaths. It may be some relief to note that taking caution with protective hand and footwear when working outdoors is usually enough to deter an attack. However, male spiders tend to wander in search for a mate, and have been known to end up in houses and even swimming pools. As if you didn't already have enough trying to kill you. Watch out if you're in Australia. Number 2 stonefish. This next sea creature is hard to see but easy to encounter. The stonefish is a master of disguise. They blend in perfectly with coral reefs and rock beds off the coasts of Australia, then wait to ambush prey. For the most part, that includes smaller fish and little unsuspecting creatures that float by and get sucked into their large mouths. The stonefish isn't particularly large either, going to be about 12 to 16 inches long and around 5 pounds in weight. But don't let that fool you, because this ugly ocean dweller is the world's most venomous fish. Step on one of these prickly fellows and you risk being impaled by 13 dorsal spines, which can inject a potent venom that can cause muscular paralysis and breathing difficulties. In extreme cases, the venom can kill an adult in less than an hour. While protective footwear can help avoid this horribly painful fate, it's perhaps best that humans avoid walking on coral reefs and stick to soft, sandy, peaceful waters. And before I conclude this walk on the wild side, here are a few honorable mentions. These creatures definitely have the creep factor without being too lethal. The Giant Tree Weta the giant tree weta is large, but not necessarily in charge. This New Zealand native looks like a giant cricket, but it can't fly or jump. Weighing in at up to 2.5 ounces, it's definitely not something most folks would call cute. The weta isn't poisonous, but the bite from those huge mandibles will draw blood, and it will certainly hurt for a while. Hairless Animals 
Some animals can experience alopecia and the resulting hair loss, resulting in some unnerving appearances. Baboons and chimps, for example, can be rendered completely bald by the condition. Additionally, some animals in captivity groom themselves or even their babies to complete baldness. Don't confuse this with the bald uakari, though. These are naturally hairless up top and resemble your dad's older brother when he's forgotten the sunscreen. There are bald beasts of the other genera, too, like the nightmare-fueling hairless bear. And as for hairless baby owls, does anyone else feel like these guys might explain sightings of gray aliens? Let me know in the comments down below. And number one, the goblin shark. There's more than a little bit of a threatening air surrounding these nocturnal omnivores. With specimens found up to a whopping 12 feet in length, the goblin shark is no mere trifle. They come equipped with a long snout with sharp, protruding, horrifying teeth. That oddly shaped mouth can extend 3 inches forward from the body and move almost independently from the rest of the body, making it a well-equipped and able killer. This surprise attack is the stuff of nightmares, and you can see why the oceanic monster was named after a grotesque mythical creature. Unfortunately, the depths of their natural habitat mean science scientists don't have a lot of information about goblin shark habits. They suspect they're fierce, lone hunters rather than pack animals. Lucky for us, they're quite shy, and they make their home about 130 feet below the ocean's surface, which makes human interaction mercifully rare. Terrors can lurk anywhere, in the deep, in the rivers, and even in the garden. Take care in the Wild Kingdom, as wherever you go, you're surely surrounded by something creepy, crawly, or just downright mean. So what creepy critters haunt your dreams? Let me know in the comment section down below, and thanks for watching!